Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. We also have something interesting for aviation enthusiasts. Here is a multipurpose helicopter by Sikorsky and Boeing specialists, which was conceived as a replacement for the famous UHF-60 Blackhawk as of early 2022. This helicopter is being actively tested, in particular in January. It developed a speed of 272 miles per hour in horizontal flight, which is about twice that of an average helicopter. The layout of the model is very unconventional. It has a twin-screw coaxial carrier system and a pusher propeller in the tail faced on Sikorsky X2 technology. According to available data, the helicopter will be widespread around 2035 and the engineers are confident that they're making the fastest and most maneuverable assault helicopter in history. Power Walk Canadian engineers also impress us with their achievements. According to them, this exoskeleton comes in handy not only for the military, but also for civilian specialists. The model was so successful that the engineers have already signed a contract with the U.S. Department of Defense. The key feature of the exoskeleton is the generation of electricity while walking. The advantages of the solution are obvious. Wider batteries can be used, exoskeleton operating time increases, and the ability is enhanced. According to available data, the power of the generated current is about 10 to 12 watts. This is enough to accumulate energy in an hour to charge for smartphones. The exoskeleton also reduces the load on the legs when walking and jumping, and one version weighs only less than 2 pounds. Rainmetall Mission Master SP. Let's return from the skies to labs to check out a whole family of autonomous combat vehicles. They can be customized for a variety of tasks from reconnaissance and evacuations of fire cover. These are different models. The XT is a solution for escorting troops. Air covers 466 miles with a payload of 22 pounds without refueling. The SP is a compact and low-profile version with seats useful for aid such as casualty evacuation and the UGVs. As a surveillance and reconnaissance complex with an optronic equipment unit, it's possible to fit it with various weapons systems, for example 70mm missile. Each vehicle is networked with special software, which has been developed for efficient control. IVAS Augmented reality systems are a popular area for military developments as well. In particular back in 2021, Microsoft received a contract from the US Army to supply devices called IVs. Technically, IVERS is a modified version of HoloLens R glasses. Some of the options of this new gadget are the thermal imager, a map, compass and night vision system, target search and guidance system, civilian and enemy soldier identification system and various auxiliary applications. Users will also have access to the Microsoft Azure Cloud platform. The idea is that the device will enable soldiers to fight and train on a single platform and cutting-edge technology will give them an advantage on the battlefield. Raphael C. Breaker Here's yet another autonomous concept. This time we have a high-precision missile system. However, experts note that human intervention is possible at any stage. The system is capable of destroying an object at a distance of up to 185 miles works in any weather and time of day. Two versions are available, one for launch from ships and the other based on the Spider anti-aircraft missile system for launch from land. The system is able to automatically detect and recognize targets while providing the possibility of synchronized attack. The guidance system utilizes deep learning and AI algorithms. Missiles are resistant to electromagnetic interference. The weight of the warhead is 236 pounds. The creators also points out one hits is enough to neutralize a frigate. Iran 9. And here is one of the most powerful unmanned vehicles according to the Sina Porcel. Meet the Russian Uran 9. This military robot was designed to protect personnel, 
and it can be equipped with the attacker-guided anti-tank missiles, or to a 72 30mm automatic cannon, a 7.62mm machine gun and a Schmel flamethrower. The robot has an interesting feature, although it can search for targets on its own. The decision to hit them is made only by the commander. Together with the operator he's located in the control center built on a Camish truck chassis with a range of 2 miles and 4 robots are used simultaneously. The range is increased to 4 miles. Fire Weaver Next in line is a state-of-the-art sensor to shooter system capable of creating an entire tactical network. He uses artificial intelligence to process massive amounts of data and determine who should attack a particular target and with which weapon. Many variables are taken into account, including types of weapons coordinates and munitions characteristics. The manufacturer is sure that this system will reduce the risk of friendly fire incidents, ensure more effective battle management, improve situational awareness, and optimize munitions usage. The system does not depend on GPS special software allows you to work with two-dimensional and three-dimensional images as well as augmented reality technologies.